tend to deify physicians, right, as these protectors of medical knowledge and skill and as having this almost God complex, right, the surgeon who does the heart transplant. I mean, it's an amazing achievement. And medicine is a weird profession because it's traditional medicine is one where the applications for medical school increase every single year, year after year, and yet it's the profession where almost unanimously all of my friends who are MD physicians say how much of a terrible profession it is to work in. But in my mind, there's a much bigger issue in medicine today that we need to discuss here. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hang, author of the health book, Master of the Day, and doctor of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine. Now, before we jump into this video here today, I've put together two very important links right below the video. The first is for a free guide, four daily rituals that can potentially help you add years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. And the second is if you'd like to become a patient of mine locally in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine, you can reach out to my clinic and private practice right below this video here. You know, I had a patient some years ago that was really looking for help with her GI issues. She had sort of like an IBS-like picture where her bowel movements were always changing. She was getting bloated and indigested and acid reflux. And alongside that was having a lot of anxiety, both related to that issue as well as just unrelated anxiety with heart palpitations and that kind of thing. It was only after she saw the dietitian, the GI specialist, endoscopy, colonoscopy, scoped every which way possible, tried every which medication possible, that she came to me because she was a little bit frustrated that there was no healing that she noticed. She was sort of confused how she went to the, from the ivory tower all the way to the surgical consultation, from the most material reductionistic to the most let's say academic, there was no one that gave her any real clues for long-term healing because her goal was not to treat the symptoms. It was that she wanted to get better because she had suffered for so long as it was already. And she did not want to do anything that was purely interventional at a symptom level because she thought, if I've suffered this much, I cannot do another 10 years of that. Now for her, it was at this point that she told me, everything they've done has only managed to treat the symptoms but I am not any better than I was 10 years ago. What gives? And that's when I brought up to her the fact that most of those treatments, the medications she'd been on, the consultations, were purely about treating the symptoms of what she had. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that, but there was never going to be progression. And she left with a very, very good one-liner when she said, there is no healing in conventional medicine. Now, the brutal reality of medicine today is that if you have a chronic disorder, whether it is digestive, like acid reflux, bloating, SIBO, whether you have something that's more nervous system or psychiatric in nature, anxiety, depression, you may have a more serious mental illness like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, whether you have something that's maybe again more nervous system related like a sleep issue or overall stress related, heart palpitations, heart rate variability issues, your elevated heart rate is 70, 80, 90, and they wanna put you on a beta blocker. Maybe it's something reproductive, gynecological, like an issue with your menstrual cycle and they want to put you on birth control, or high blood pressure, high blood lipids. The solution is always the same in conventional medicine. It is take this medication and take it as long as you have symptoms, which if it is a chronic issue, it is probably going to be forever. And the brutal, sad truth is that outside of acute care, like taking an antibiotic for a urinary tract infection, or an antibiotic for a sexually transmitted infection, an STI, there's almost no healing in medicine at all, especially if you're like many of us that have a disease that is chronic or an illness that has such severe symptoms that are chronic enough that they ruin your quality of life. So the person who has acid reflux will take that medication, whatever, whether it's famotidine or meprazole, whatever it is, forever until the day they die or until they have more symptoms or worse symptoms or a side effect from it after 20 years of it. The person who has anxiety or depression will take that SSRI or that SNRI or that whatever the new class of antidepressant medication is till the day they die. And after five years or seven years, they'll show some decompensation, some tolerance, so they'll need another one or increase the dosage or likely both, which is what typically happens. You know, if you're someone who has gynecological issues, heavy bleeding, endometriosis, irregular menses, dysmenorrhea, you'll need to take that birth control pill until you start having babies, right? So from 15 until 35, you'll be taking that birth control pill. And inevitably, no matter what it is, whether it's a migraine or anxiety, 
This is what conventional medicine has to offer. The trillions of dollars of research every year, the Ivy League specialists with these beautiful pedigrees and the white coats guarding these secrets and the specialized knowledge. That is, at the end of the day, all they have to offer. And frankly, I think it's disappointing at best. And for many patients, harmful at worst. In between, it just manages symptoms, and that's totally okay. But for those of you that want healing, for those of you that have been in my shoes that know what it is like to be chronically ill for years and can think, Jesus, if I'm in this place for another decade, I don't know if I can call that a life worth living. For those of you that want healing, I would strongly advise to think and realize this and to go find a second opinion. Or maybe to look into traditional Chinese medicine, wherever you are on earth watching this, because there are other options. Theoretically, if you go to your physician and say, well, aren't there other options? Aren't there natural options? Aren't there other ways to treat this? And if they tell you this is the only way to treat this, whether it's Lyme disease or heart disease or anxiety or depression as severe as yours, and they might tell you there's nothing else that can treat this. Well, there is, and it might be worth checking out. That is my uh, freestyle rant for you today, guys. Something that is very frustrating, very disappointing as someone who himself, I've been in the patient seat and now the doctor seat for many years as the patient being sick. And I can only say one simple thing, which is that if you want healing, you probably will not find it in conventional medicine. So it's better to get more opinions and begin also looking elsewhere. So that's what I have for you today. Again, check out the free guide and you can read more about my clinic and practice. I'd love to see you there. And otherwise, see you soon.